this laptop is the Acer Aspire 4743G powered by a first gen Intel Core i5 480M. With a clock speed of 2.66 MHz, it has 2 cores and 4 threads. The GPU is NVIDIA GeForce GT 540M. It has 96 CUDA cores and 1 GB of VRAM. Originally, this laptop has 2 GB of DDR3 RAM with the speeds of 1,333 MHz and 500 GB of hard disk drive. In addition, this model was first released in 2011. However, what can we upgrade on this laptop to be worthy on this era? Would it be worth for an upgrade? So bear with me to unfold its worthiness. The first upgrade that I perform is replacing the 500 gigs hard disk drive with L3 Evo 120 gigs SSD from Team Group. As we all know from my previous video, SSD is more faster than a spinning hard drive. The second upgrade is adding RAM from 2 gigs to 4 gigs in total. 4 gigs of RAM in total is enough for running Windows 10. By the way, if you upgrade your RAM, make sure that it has the same speed so that your system will run better. The third upgrade is installing Windows 10. This laptop originally runs with Windows 7 operating system. Nevertheless, I have to use Windows 10 because Windows 7 has no support from Microsoft anymore. I installed Windows 10 64-bit because of the added security features and driver signature enforcement, meaning that the Windows only install drivers that Microsoft recognize. This would prevent malicious or buggy drivers from being used on your system, compared to using Windows 10 32-bit that only limits your RAM to 3.5 gigs and it doesn't have those features that I mentioned. After I installed Windows 10, I checked the thermal performance of this system, so I installed HW monitor. After that, I run Cinebench R15 to stress test the system. As I run the test, I notice the thermal throttling. The CPU is not running as its intended speeds as I run Cinebench. Even though laptops tends to run hot due to its thermal solution, mostly the airflow is choked because the air intake is at the bottom of the laptop. However, this is different. The clock speed of the processor is only at 1.17 GHz flatline. Normally, it should pick up to 2.66 GHz which is the advertised speed of this processor. Thermal throttling happens when your processor is running so hot. In order to reduce the heat, the processor down clocks its speed to limit the temperature. As a result, the system will run slow. This is mostly due to a dried up thermal phase. This normally happens to an old laptops that are being used through the years. Moreover, this is one of the reasons why old laptops run so slow. By this, I have to open this laptop to replace the thermal phase.
after I replace the thermal paste, I run Cinebench and check its thermals. The CPU still runs hot as expected. The processor is running at its intended speed and the score is higher compared to the previous test. After all of that, the laptop runs fine and faster than before. All I can say is that it's worth of an upgrade. However, the owner of this laptop is my classmate in StarCraft and Counter-Strike when we are in college and there is no such thing as a retired gamer. Therefore, I installed StarCraft 2 as he requested. So let's see how this performs with games. Actually, this laptop is not meant for gaming. You should be aware na ang cooler nito is underneath and the thermal solution is smaller compared to the most gaming laptops in the market. You can see that in the video na medyo maliit yung thermal solution niya. But you can still game on this because it has the capacity because it has um, dedicated GPU which is the NVIDIA GT 540M it has 1 gig pero medyo luma na siya kasi this model uh, is released on 2011 and it's been 9 years ago so hindi na siya masyado na powerful compared sa mga modern laptops like or newer na laptops like the 4th gen, 3rd gen laptops, 5th gen but still, this laptop is still capable, even though it runs on the first gen i5 series na processor. And it's still capable for office works, uh, learning tools for the children, or anything. Even online, online jobs like that, you can still use this. But you need to make sure na if you want to use this for a long time, uh, make sure na, na lift nyo siya in order to breathe the blower here, this blower. I would like to add, yung hard disk na pinalitan natin ng SSD, we still plan to use it by using a SSD caddy or caddy. 120 gig is still enough for OS and some application. In the long run, you will accumulate more files. so. Ang 120 gigs is not enough anymore. It's cost effective na you to reuse the hard disk drive that you only you already had by using a caddy because as of now DVDs are not used anymore because of the USB technology na ginagamit na natin mostly USB na USB na. Tapos yung mga files you can all download it on the net or the internet right now so hindi na masyadong magamit yung CDs so my intention for this video is to give you an insight on uh, on upgrading your old system or laptops and what are the things that you should look up to for example this one the thermal throttling so if you like this video please click the like and if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button so, that's all guys. Thank you.